Good day. This is Kent France with the National Weather Service in Peachtree City, Georgia, ready to give you your weekly weather briefing. Our first slide shows you the rainfall during the past seven days, ending on August 25th at 8 a.m. As you can see, the green shaded areas are anywhere from one to two inches of rain and are predominantly over north Georgia, but there were some isolated three to four inches of rain that occurred in Atlanta, near Athens, and over by Elberton. The image you see is rainfall departures for the past seven days. Air shaded areas of green and blue are above normal, uh, the grayed areas are near normal, and the yellow areas are below normal. As you can see, the above normal rainfall predominantly occurred over north Georgia, and in central Georgia there has been a lack of rainfall which is beginning to enhance the drought conditions in that area. The current drought monitor indicates some improvement over north Georgia with expanding uh, drought conditions over central and south Georgia. As you can see compared to last week the areas of extreme drought have begun to diminish and even in the northeast portions of Georgia uh, the severe drought is beginning to diminish as well. However in central Georgia it, there is a slight expansion due to the lack of rainfall during the past week. The surface pattern for the next three days is expected to be basically a weak high pressure system that dominates over the southern Atlantic states including Georgia. Uh, that will allow for a few showers and thunderstorms to develop each day over the northern portions of the state and generally dry elsewhere. The tropical weather conditions are beginning to get more interesting for us. As you can see here, Gaston is already a tropical storm uh, well out into the Atlantic. And there is an area of disturbed weather that is being monitored very closely uh, north of Haiti and the Dominican Republic that is expected to become the next tropical storm, Hermine. The Gaston forecast track is, is seen here on this image. Uh, not expected to impact the mainland United States. It is expected to move more northwest and potentially get close to Bermuda before turning out to sea and mainly affecting the shipping lanes. Now it's time to talk about the various model solutions with the uh, potential development of Tropical Storm Hermine. In the upper left corner you have the European model, upper right is Canadian, lower left is the GFS model, and on the lower right is the Weather Prediction Center's uh, official extended forecast at this time. All of these are, will be subject to change uh, as we approach, as this event approaches us for next week. As you can see here for the valid time on Sunday morning at 8 a.m., the European has uh, the potential tropical storm Hermine uh, right near the southern coast of Florida near Miami as well as the Canadian model also. Uh, the GFS is uh, lagging in speed a little bit and also uh, dramatically in intensity. And the uh, compromise between the meteorologist and the models there through the Weather Prediction Center is going with a uh, at, at a minimum a tropical low right there on the southern tip of Florida. By Monday morning at 8 a.m., the models have the following solutions. The European model is tending to be the more intense model, but off the southwest Florida peninsula. The Canadian model has the center near Tampa. The GFS, once again, is uh, lagging in speed and intensity over the Florida Keys. And the compromise, again, uh, as of last night with the Weather Prediction Center was a uh, tropical low or possible minimal tropical storm uh, off the southwest Florida peninsula. By Tuesday morning at 8 a.m., the Euro European is the most uh, intense now with the center uh, near Tampa. 
The Canadian is the most aggressive in speed and has moved the uh, storm center up closer to the Big Bend area of Florida. The GFS is lacking in speed and intensity, remaining off the west side of Florida, and that is generally the compromise that WPC took um, there, as you can see, where it's uh, in a very similar location between uh, the GFS and the uh, European model. By Wednesday morning at 8 a.m., the European, again the more intense uh, solution, and the Canadian are pretty much lined up in the Big Bend area of Florida. The uh, GFS uh, is lacking in intensity, uh, tends to be more of a broad low pressure system over the, over the northeast Gulf of Mexico, and that's what's kind of indicated here in WPC solution at the moment where they're going with this uh, strong tropical low in the northeast Gulf of Mexico. One thing else that I would like to highlight is these uh, stationary fronts that you're seeing in the Tennessee Valley and uh, a dissipating front over north Georgia. That is of concern that uh, that may be a, the, these boundaries may be an area of enhanced rainfall as the moisture is pumped in from the Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll have to watch that very closely. So the rainfall forecast for Sunday through Tuesday morning is shown here with the most significant rain being over Florida from anywhere from one to six inches of rain associated with those potential storm tracks of Tropical Storm Hermine. The forecast rainfall for Tuesday morning through Thursday is indicated in this image. Significant rainfall amounts of 2 to 6 inches are possible in South Georgia and North Florida due to those associated potential tracks of Tropical Storm Hermine. Everything is subject to change. Uh, we'll have to monitor this very closely uh, on each model run over the next couple of days to see the exact uh, track of the storm and just keep in mind that the heaviest rainfall is associated with the center and usually to the east of the storm. So that is what is indicated here for Tuesday through Thursday. In summary, weak high pressure will dominate Georgia through the weekend. A few thunderstorms over north Georgia will be possible today through Sunday. High temperatures will be in the upper 80s north to mid 90s central. We will require some significant monitoring of the evolving tropical situation this weekend and into early next week, expecting tropical storm Hermine to develop and impact the southeast United States. Heavy rainfall amounts will be possible in Georgia. Also, improvement in drought conditions can be expected next week. That's all for today's uh, weather briefing. We may have additional briefings as Tropical Storm Hermine develops. Until then, have a good day.